Well, there are new comments to share tonight in the controversy over Congressman Tim Wahlberg's remarks at Uganda's National Prayer Breakfast in October. Those remarks came amid international pressure over a harsh anti-homosexuality law in that country, and that law was signed back in May. It includes prison time for acts of homosexuality, including advocating for LGBTQ rights, and the death penalty for acts of aggravated homosexuality, including if one or both participants is HIV positive. That law has been denounced by the international community with statements and later sanctions by the United States, the United Nations and the World Bank. At the National Prayer Breakfast in October, Representative Wahlberg urged the people of Uganda to stand up to international pressure. However, his office pushed back on the idea that he was supporting the Anti-Homosexuality Act, pointing out that while other speakers referenced the law, Wahlberg never did. His office says the purpose of Wahlberg's speech was to call it a double standard at the World Bank. News of Wahlberg's visit to Uganda was broken by Jonathan Larson, the managing editor at the progressive TYT Media. Six News sat down with Larson, who says Wahlberg's urging to stand up to international pressure could only be a reference to the backlash over the Anti-Homosexuality Act, and his audience in Uganda knew that. said in his remarks, I think, as you included in your report, that there's going to be pushback on this, but I'm not going to back down. Well, he didn't. Right. He issued this statement to you saying, I never named the law. Right. He says, I didn't defend the law, which is true in the sense that he didn't name it. But he absolutely was understood by his audience. The Ugandan audience understood exactly what he was talking about. The president of Uganda took the stage after Representative Wahlberg spoke and said his comments show that there are Westerners who support his administration's social policies.